Hey guys, this is Aaron. We have a video coming out later this week of a 3D base camp presentation from Shannon Lightfoot. It's a great sounding presentation about VDC and SketchUp. It's got some great tips in there if you have anything to do, any kind of work around construction or planning or that sort of thing. I highly recommend you take a look at it. While he's got a lot of great tips in there, one of the things he touched on, which is odd considering, like I said, it's about virtual design construction, is he talks about their 3D printing and how he uses Solid Inspector. And it occurred to me I've never actually done, even though I use it a lot, it's one of my favorite extensions, I've never actually done a video on Solid Inspector. So that's what we're going to do. And now, those of you who have maybe started to tune out, Solid Inspector is not just for 3D printing. There's plenty of workflows that... Solid Inspector can help you with. If you're going to use solid tools where you can actually add or remove volumes from each other, or if you're doing any kind of rendering where the normalization, the, the outside faces uh, facing the same direction are important, then having a solid is really important, and Solid Inspector helps you with that. So hopefully you realize there's more than just 3D printing that Solid Inspector can help with, and we're going to hop in and take a look at how it works right now. Solid Inspector is available for free through the extension warehouse. You can download it from there. It is worth noting that this is Solid Inspector 2, or Squared, or Superscript 2. This is the second Solid Inspector release from extension developer TomTom. Tom. The first one, Solid Inspector, is available for version SketchUp 2013 or previous. So if you have 2014 up to the release version of SketchUp Pro, you'll want to get Solid Inspector 2. I'm just going to call it Solid Inspector from here on out. Hopefully you guys know the difference. Some of the functionality that's in Solid Inspector 2 is not in the first version, so there are differences. Uh, just be aware of that if you do go back and use the original Solid Inspector on a previous version of SketchUp. When you install Solid Inspector, you can get to it a couple different ways. One is a toolbar, so this little one button toolbar right here, or in the tools menu, you can see Solid Inspector's down here at the bottom. It is just a single command, it just runs, there's no setup or anything like that you have to do which is one of the things I like about this extension is it is so easy to use. All right, so to run it, I'm just going to select on a group. If you pick a group and in Entity Info, it just says group, or if it's a component, it says component, and it doesn't say solid group or solid component, that's an indication that there's something in the geometry that prevents it from being seen as a solid. What it doesn't tell you up here is what that is. This is where Solid Inspector comes into play. So if I want to find out why this geometry is not a solid, I can pick on it and click Solid Inspector. When I do that, you can see portions of the model now have become red, and in the Solid Inspector window, I get a list of issues. These are reasons that this is not a solid. So this is a couple of them. This is four of the potential issues you'll see. As you get these, if you have questions about what any of them mean, you can hit the little question mark right here, and it'll give you kind of an idea of what the problem is. You can see everything is highlighted at first. If I want to narrow it down and just see one error message at a time, I can click on that error message. So I click on stray edges, for example, and it highlights just my stray edges. Um, not sure where that is. So, oh, there it is, right underneath. There's a extra line right there. In a solid, every edge will connect two faces together. So it knows that having this edge stick out means I don't actually need it. If, for whatever reason, when I have uh, my model like this, this is a pretty simple model. If I have a more complex model and I need to find where this is, find where this message is, I can hit the tab key on the keyboard. Tab will do two things. It'll put a big circle all the way around the error and it'll zoom you in on that error. Sometimes it'll zoom you in in such a way that you're behind some geometry, so you may have to orbit a little bit, but if you just spin around that red circle, sooner or later, you'll see what it is that's causing that error. In this case, in the case of this particular error, I do have the option to automatically fix it. Some error messages, like uh, the rest of these, are open to a little bit of interpretation. That is to say, there's probably more than one way that a user could go in and fix a surface border or a internal face edges error. So those don't have an automatic fix. In this case, straight edges, I know that to fix a straight edge, I'm gonna delete it. So I'm just gonna click the fix button and that one's gonna go away. All right, with the rest of these, we're gonna just kind of work through and figure out how to make this a solid. 
Next one we'll look at is nested instances. This means that somewhere inside this group or component, there is geometry that is separated from the rest of geometry by another group or component. In this case, this cap piece looks like it's in its own group there. So we need to go in and explode that geometry out so it can merge with the rest of the model. Now, when you're in Solid Inspect, you're in kind of a special mode where you are viewing the results of the Solid Inspector uh, inspection. What I can't do is go through and edit or make changes while this is running. So I'm going to need to close Solid Inspector, double click to enter the group. Now I can pick this group, right click, explode. And the nice thing is I don't have to go back out of the group to run Solid Inspector. As long as I'm in this group, I can actually just come up and click to have Solid Inspector run again. And I can see now I'm down to just two different issues. All right, so next one we have is surface borders. If I look at surface borders, that's telling me that there's somewhere where geometry just ends on the edge of a face. Like I said before, in a solid, every face should connect to one other face at an edge. In this case, it's telling me there's something wrong with this ring right here. So if I kind of zoom up underneath like this, I can see, oh, yep. I'm missing some geometry there. I should have a flat surface there connecting the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and, again, close Solid Inspector, draw a couple of lines. That's going to force SketchUp to put a surface there. I can get rid of those lines now and just click to run Solid Inspector again. And with that, you'll see a couple things. One is those, those error messages went away, and my internal faces dropped from 30 down to 12. The reason for these changes is... As I change my geometry here, it's coming closer and closer to a solid. It's easier for Solid Inspector to determine what is actually inside and outside of the solid. So before, it might have been guessing based on the geometry that maybe one of these faces that was the outside it thought was an internal face should have been inside or something like that. As I get closer and closer to being a solid, I get fewer and fewer errors, and I get more and more fixes. So I could hit fix right now, and I'll fix whatever the problem is, but just to you know, because we're here in a learning video, let's go see exactly what that is. I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I want to take a peek inside by selecting this bottom face, right-clicking, and temporarily hiding it. If I run Solid Inspector, I can see the issue is this geometry right here. Uh, these should be negative spaces on the inside. For some reason, I have some extra faces right here. That's causing the issue. If I could... Close Solid Inspector again, go with an eraser and delete these, or I'll just try hitting Fix and see what it does. That's what I would expect. All right, those pieces are gone. If I, uh, it's telling me no errors, everything's shiny. I can go to Edit and unhide that last face, put that back in there, and that looks good. Just to verify, if I close Solid Inspector, exit out of the group, pick the group up here in Entity Info, it does say Solid Group. So at this point, Solid Inspector helped me get to a solid group. So that's a look at Solid Inspector. Um, if you do any kind of file export or solid tools, or like I said, even rendering, it's worth checking out. Go ahead and download it from the Extension Warehouse. There'll be a link down below. Let us know what you think of it. If you use it, if you don't use it, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, click on like and subscribe. That way you'll know when Shannon's video comes out at the end of the week. Most importantly though, tell us what you think of the video. Think of, let us know if there's any other extensions you want us to take a look at. Leave a comment down below. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.